Hi guys, I got a really cool one for you. I call this my toe stubber. I call it my toe stubber because I actually have to stub my toe in order to find it. And before I get too far, I wanted to say that it's my personal opinion that that should be the color of Smurfs and not blue. Well, one of the reasons I struggle with this particular mushroom is because of the coloration on the top of it. On dry seasons when these come up, they can look powdery white. They're not powdery, but they look powdery white. And so to me, the smaller examples of this look like hypomyces boletes, and so they go ignored. Where if I start turning them over, I might see the purple gills. Now during the rains, these can lighten up. They don't look so white and powdery, and a lot of times the tops of them resemble bluets. But the key identifying features of this is very tough, fibrous stalk. The blade on the gill will be pretty deep, purple gills, and a white to flesh colored top. Usually it's quite marbled on top after rains, but if it's dry, then it'll stay a, a dull white. The purple gilled Laceria. Make sure you do your research and know that you have the right mushroom when you're confident that you do have the right mushroom and you've done more research to make sure of that and you do decide to try these. The caps are what we eat. I discard the stems. You cook them for a while so that they're not as rubbery. But it is a favorite. It's mycorrhizal. So when you do find these beautiful mushrooms, know that they'll be there each season or they should be there each season. Who don't love purple? Everybody loves purple. Key identifier on this beautiful specimen, which is the amethyst lacaria, is this cute little indentation in its cap. The way the cap kind of folds down into these weird little ears. And the biggest feature is the purple gills. The gills are not crowded. This is nicknamed the Deceiver, and it's nicknamed the Deceiver because these colors can change and fade or brighten depending on where it's blooming and when it's blooming and what kind of weather it's blooming through. But it will always have the purple gills.